Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome back to Elm Creek Farm, episode number 24. And we are going to try to tackle the big wheat field and we're going to try to leverage uh, George here with Auto Drive in the function where um, Auto Drive will handle the, the job of the tractor and the tipper trailer and coming out to the combine, emptying the combine, and bringing the grain, or we, uh, in this case wheat, to our uh, to our silo here. So let's go ahead and get George um, on his way. Um, he should drive out to the wait point um, that we have established and um, and wait for us. I'm just going to hop out so he can go ahead and head on over there and we're going to run over and get in our case combine and get out there and start uh, start combining this uh, this wheat and try to get it in um, before the rain starts and um, just hope everyone is having a wonderful day um, I certainly have been having a wonderful uh, wonderful relaxing uh, few days off with my wife um, you know it is uh, it is post Christmas now uh, you guys uh, the pre previous video that you watched yesterday uh, talked a little bit about uh, what we did, which wasn't a whole lot. Um, we just had a very relaxing, uh, very easygoing uh, holiday. Kind of, you know, those are those are really sort of the best, you know. Um, I've got to say. Um, so we're going to uh, let's see. We're going to disable the straw swap, and I think that's the way it's set up. And uh, go ahead and turn this guy on. Uh, oh, yep, we do. We need to unfold the harvester now. The way this auto drive um, works is that is my that is sort of my holding point, my wait point, if you will, uh, for for George for the tractor and the tipper. And um, he will stay there, or he should stay there until we get uh, about 60% uh, until we get about 60% capacity in our harvester and then he will uh he will drive over he will find us on the field or in theory he will find us on the field and he will uh he will empty uh us um and then he will kind of hang about sometimes he follows us around uh the field sometimes he will he will stop and he will wait until he gets to a certain capacity of um of wheat in his in his tipper and then he will drive to the silo and then dump the tipper. So, as I had pointed out several episodes ago, we've got a little bit of weed activity on the very, very edges of this field. Um, I, you know, for the life of me, I can't remember if we sprayed this field with a herbicide directly after we seeded it. It's possible I may have missed some spots or maybe it's just uh, sort of the way things are. Uh, right now but our other fields uh, that we have planted I believe this to our immediate left here is um, is soybeans and there are no uh, there are no weeds in that so we're going to continue sort of to keep that as our functional process if you will um, kind of going forward and having you know spraying herbicide directly after we seed to kind of mitigate any chances of having uh, any weeds up here in our fields and I'm just going to go ahead and turn GPS on here and set our uh, set our uh, set our EV lines and such while I'm going down this, uh, this straight away um, I um, I tried to get course play to seed grass down in the field the canola field field number I believe that is field number 11 I uh, tried to do that and um, he just wouldn't, of course, play just would not function. Regular uh, default in-game AI hire worker uh, would not uh, would not function either. And um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's the if it's the, uh, the, the, the oil seed radish uh, seeder or just what the deal is. But they just will not. Uh, they will not do the work in that field. So, um, gonna have to kind of go back to the drawing board on how uh, how that's going to uh, how that's going to function. Now, I think 
we've got uh, let me kind of think about how I want to do this I think I will just uh, uh, come back down we'll pick up our header and try not to drag it across the highway and spin and come back around we're at 53 percent so he should in theory uh, he should be very close to uh, uh, to wanting to come and empty us now I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I've I've watched some videos of this, and I'm sure you all have as well. And as I as I have said before, I am I am brand new to um, I am brand new to auto drive in the sense that I never I never used it in um, in Farm Sim 19. I never used it in Farm Sim 17. Now I think um, I think he's going to probably want to. Come and drive over in in the crop um, to try to, uh, to try to empty us, and I suppose that is potentially. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a small change here. I'm gonna lift our our combine up because um, I want to try to keep the immersion as potentially high as possible for you guys. So what we're gonna do is. Um, we're going to do a headland around the field. I wasn't going to do that, but if we're setting at 67%, and I'm going to open my pipe because I think that's what he is kind of waiting for now, even though um, even though the setting is supposed to enter the field at 60%, I think he wants to uh, to wait for us to, to pipe out, and then I believe that he will start his, uh, his activity here shortly. At least that is, in theory, how it is supposed to work. Now, of course... Anytime you're doing a demonstration, um, whether it be live or even even recorded like this, um, the chances of, oh, there he comes. Okay, so it didn't make a liar out of me. Now, I'm going to, uh, because I've always been a believer that we have to do our very best to help our hired workers every way that we possibly can. I'm going to stop before we get to these uh, to these trees down here because um, you know even with horseplay, even with um, uh, well, horseplay is the only thing that we've ever had that uh, will come and follow us on the field, and his brakes are uh, his brakes are kind of bad, I suppose. So we'll we'll come on, okay, George. What are you doing, George? Okay, let's see if George will figure this out. I probably should have just stayed and let him figure himself out, but, but, um, let's see. There we go. I can get a screenshot for our thumbnail. All right, so there we go. I'm going to bring the HUDs back up just because in case I need to make any, any changes to anything, I can do that. Okay, all right. Well, as you can see, um, it worked. It worked pretty well. Uh, well, it, we're still at 30. We're still at 40 percent. So I'm not sure why he didn't he didn't take anything unless our combine moved just a little bit. So we will we will navigate uh, past these trees here. And kind of as I was saying, I'm not sure if I finished that thought because I kind of got excited when he started working the way that he was, and then he uh, he overshot the uh, overshot the landing zone there, but. Anyway, um, I've always been a believer that you know we as the the player of the game need to do our absolute um, best to try to make things as easy for our hired workers as possible, and um, and just making sure that we don't you know interject something like those trees for him to try to navigate around um, might uh, might have been a little bit of a challenge him so we're gonna see he is still parked back there because we put our pipe in I'm gonna go ahead and pipe out and then uh, he should be able to come up and we'll see if he starts moving and again kind of you know live demonstrations um, everything doesn't always work the way that it's supposed to um, but we will we will see so George is moving and he is uh, he is coming up and one thing that I can say that I believe that the um, the auto drive functionality has within itself is it it knows where the combine um, is in relation to itself and can 
can better automatically adjust um, for that for that position. And I've often talked about the fact, and, and you guys may remember. Um, we'll see if he will just stay put and if he will unload us. Um, pull up just a little bit. He's, he's going to stay there, hopefully. I've often talked about in previous, you know, Farm Sim 17. Now I don't know why he is. I don't know why he is moving when we're not 100% into it. Um, that's that's a problem. But uh, we will see. We'll see if if he continues that behavior as we continue to harvest this field. But I've often talk, talked about when I've experienced problems and I've shown those problems on camera with like horseplay, for example. And I'm sure you've all seen this behavior where the tractor and the tipper will just spin um, because the combine maybe has stopped. Obviously, the combine stops and the tractor and the tipper just goes around in circles, just does donuts in the field because it can't adjust itself. It can't adjust its track to be able to take a better approach to find your to find the combine. And from what I can tell, that this is a little bit better at doing that. Um, Auto drive is just a little bit better at um, at being able to kind of self-adjust. It's it's almost like it's um, it's almost like it's self-aware uh, just a little bit of of where it is in relation to where the combine is and and what it needs to do to basically get itself in a position to where that it can uh, it can empty the combine so we're coming back up on 60 percent again and uh, it is kind of troubling me just a little bit that uh, um, that he won't empty us completely but in the videos that I have watched of other uh, YouTube content creators that have been playing around with um, with both auto drive as well as course play and it's very early um, beta maybe even call it alpha stage um, where it is in its, in its current uh, release um, everyone is seeing a variety of different behavior from it not working at all to it working perfectly to it doing little things like we're seeing kind of here in our in our game Let's let's see if he can keep up with us and see if he will just hang in there with us until we can get a little bit more uh, empty, because I would like for him to uh, to do that to empty us fully so that we can make this this trip back down where our pipe is going to be in the field, and then hopefully we'll be 60% on the way back up, and then uh, you know the immersion doesn't. Um, the immersion doesn't break for me as much with the AI vehicles running around in the other fields like he did there with the oil seed radish. Um, I just don't like to necessarily see um, the, uh, the tractor and tipper coming around and emptying us on the crop side of the field because uh, that just breaks the immersion a little bit too much. And his path, and he will go back to his course, and he will find a course that uh, will take him back to the main silo, and he will empty, and then he will return and come back and basically wait for us to um, um, to be set for um, 60%. Of And of course, at this particular point in time, and I'm going off of where course play was yesterday. Now today in the real world, it's Tuesday. Um, I believe it's the 28th of December. I've not looked to see if there was an update to course play overnight. Um, but course play, as it stands right now, doesn't have the functionality to essentially empty a combine and drive a course and everything. And so now I'm you know I'm pleased um, obviously there's a there's a few little um, few little opportunities for auto drive to kind of improve its its situation and he's gonna find his course to the silo here in just a moment and pull off the main street 
um, when I was setting the course up for auto drive for this specific and I've set two courses up so far I've set a course up from our main silo to the mill to be able to move wheat or, um, or oats or any other crop that we would want to move from our silo over to the mill and um, and then I've set this course up here for this the purpose of emptying the combine and driving the contents over to our silo and he's emptying now so that that's looking good and of course the advantage from what I understand it because obviously we did not have in farm sim 19 we didn't have the road network uh, built in to uh, to the map like we have here in farm sim 22 uh, at least with the in-game base maps um, is obviously you can attach your um, the 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 paths that you create, the courses that you create in Auto Drive. You can attach those and save yourself some time um, and attach to kind of the main road network. Well, that in and of itself is also somewhat pr problematic um, in the sense that um, the road network is not straightforward especially when it comes to uh, especially when it comes to intersections and such I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna miss I'm not gonna put that um, and I just I found some problems with uh, trying to get that trying to get that done and trying to get that just perfect um, and so um, I've got it where it's working but it was a, just a little bit confusing from the sense of um, of trying to get it all where it would go, and it's very much like laying down a, a kind of a railroad track. If you if you played with a train as a kid, or even even as a big kid, um, or maybe you've done some of the some of the video uh, games where you have to build a network of tracks or, or or roads or whatever. And if there's a gap, if there's a break, then basically it's not going to work. Your, your your train or your vehicle or whatever is not going to get to where that you want it to go and it's very true with auto drive in its uh, in its functionality that you know you you need to make sure that you have everything connected you need to make sure that uh, everything is going the correct direction you know, some you can create some paths that are bi-directional and then obviously one-way stuff and um I'm really, it's sort of six of one, half a dozen of another. I'm in a different minds as to whether or not um, I feel the benefit from the, you know, existing network that Giants has put into the map, which obviously is an option when you start auto drive to, to basically, you know, connect auto drive to that network, or whether it would just be just about as easy to not have that and just record your your uh, your paths and everything yourself and, and yeah it I can see where it saves a little bit of time in um, leveraging Giants um, network of, of paths and everything but again the intersections were really kind of confusing or at least they were to me and um, and maybe it's one of those things where you know I'm just not I'm just not used to it um, because again I've never used I've never used auto drive in any of the other versions of farming simulator that I played because I've just always enjoyed uh, course play. I've found course play does everything that I want it to do um, and potentially even even more if you will. But um, we will we will just see. Now of course course play as I said before uh, course play is in its you know infant stages. Um, I can't remember, uh, to be honest, you know, just how robust course play was when it first came out for Farm Sim 19, uh, and it, it, I think it came out within, you know, four to six weeks after 19 released, um, and um, but it is it is pretty raw if, if you are a course play aficionado and you've either heavily relied on its functions 
or even just partially. And I, I would call myself more of a, of a, a moderate, you know, medium of the road um, user of course play, meaning that I understand how it functions and I use it about 50% of the time to help me with storylines or just help me do things on the map to help move the gameplay forward a little bit. Um, it's just it's just not there. I mean, it, it, it might even be considered, it's in beta, but I might even would classify that as, as alpha um, right now. Now, it will get better, and I'm sure course play will be everything that we could imagine um, that it would, you know, it would ever be here on Farm Sim 22. But for right now, it's, um, you know, it's very much in its beta stage. And so you just have to take it with a grain of salt and, um, you know, just um, just understand that it's going to have some weaknesses and you're going to have to work around those. And, um, and we'll just, you know, kind of see how things go. So we're getting some pretty good yield off of this wheat field. I'm I'm uh, very very impressed with um, with what I'm seeing. Um, we're almost full, uh, almost filled up our second uh, tipper, and I think those are about twenty six thousand liters um, a trip. So I think it could be feasible that we could get a hundred thousand liters out of this field, maybe. Um, 80,000 liters maybe so that's going to help us with our our continued our mill operations and as I might have mentioned before our mill is um, our mill is backlog uh, our mill is basically not producing any more flour because the bakery is uh, is backlog and can't produce bread any quicker than what it currently is and that's kind of a shame that we're that we're deadlocked this way but you know I guess in the real world, you might experience these kind of things as well, and uh, we'll just we'll just survive. We'll just persevere and, and make the most out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and um, open my pipe. It, it it seems like I think in the 19 version, and again this is kind of based on videos that I have seen, um, the tractor tipper function, the driver would just kind of come out on the field when you hit the 60% mark. It looks like Farm Sim 22, and I'm okay with this. Actually, I, I I like I like having some control of the tractor tipper driver, and if pipe out um, is what that control is, that communication key, if you will, to letting him know that you either want him or you don't want him, um, is fine because I think that is um, that is good. So we're gonna let him do his turn slow down just a little bit and then he's coming up behind us and I uh, don't know if this will be enough to send him to the silo or not we will see but hopefully he will stick with us and empty us all the way down so that we don't have to worry about him emptying us or needing to empty us on the crop side of the field and really and truthfully Elm Creek is not you know the fields on this map are not super huge. I mean, obviously, this is the largest field that we currently own right now and currently are using. And so um, so you don't necessarily need uh, course play or auto drive to be able to, to do what you need to do. I mean, we could have, I could have just put a worker on this, on the combine, and I could have driven the tractor tipper and got this field harvested, it would have taken a little bit longer, uh, especially if there were any challenges with um, with the AI worker. But it could have necessarily, certainly it could have been done. But when you start looking at maps, like for example, the North Dakota map that I kind of talked about a little bit yesterday, there is no way, there's absolutely no way, especially single player, that you're gonna be able to make a dent in that map if you don't have some help uh, from uh, from course play or auto drive or even maybe even both of them so we're going to pause just a moment because I don't want to I don't want to have a collision um, with uh, with George there and I might need to adjust the corners just a little bit on that course because he does slow down quite a bit 
but uh, it's working. You know, hey, um, this is his second trip to the silo. I'm impressed because, uh, uh, as I said before, the functionality to be able to do this in course play uh, does not exist from my uh, from my knowledge of where the where the current release is, and um, so we will just kind of have to give that a little bit more time and be patient. You know, um, some folks were really kind of ripping um, course play, the developers of course play I've seen in some, in some, uh, some discussion groups. And it's kind of like, you know, folks, we're, you know, you don't want to upset these, these people. You don't want to, to make these people's lives so miserable that they just say, you know, something give up because it's much easier it's much easier for the course play developers that we know now that have been with that mod for uh, quite a long time and I, I don't know if it's the original if it's the original team or if it's you know if it's got some new members maybe some people have have left I don't really know the makeup of the team itself but it's a lot easier for that development team to make course play available for farm sim 22 than it would be for a brand new developer to come in and completely engineer something new because obviously we would not want them to take anything from the existing version of course play because that that would be wrong uh, for them to do that um, and the same would be if you know if folks were to say well auto drive guy you know why don't you uh, why don't you make auto drive be more course play like and there was an interesting discussion on uh, the Steam discussion boards um, just a day or two about that very simple thing that uh, somebody had messaged the developer of AutoDrive and said, you know, can you not engineer AutoDrive so that it will go out onto the field and, um, and perform work like plowing or mowing or picking up straw or whatever. And he his response back to this particular individual and I believe it kind of upset the the individual the user uh, who messaged the developer of, of uh, auto drive was that auto drive is is a driving mod it's not a field work kind of uh, kind of function it does not have that um, that those features uh, nor nor is it supposed to nor has there ever been the intention of it to uh, to do those things? And so, um, <coughs> excuse me, as I cough in your ear, um, and um, and you know, and it's not he's not going to do that. He's not going to change the development of um, of Auto Drive to be more and do more field work kind of kind of stuff. All right, so he's on the move. So we're gonna. You know, again, this kind of goes into um, a little bit about what I said about the trees over there is, you know, try to do as much as you possibly can to help the AI out. There's, you know, there's kind of a misconception that, well, you know, Giants AI um, or Course Play or Auto Drive or any of these, you know, follow me or whatever, that, you know, these should be, the workers should be perfect. Well, in the normal world, in the real world, workers are not perfect. Every now and again, people need a little bit of prodding, a little bit of, um, of help, a little bit of guidance. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Um, we're almost at our magic, uh, our magic 30 minutes. And I try not to go over 30 minutes. And I really try to keep episodes uh, even even under around the 25 minute mark because I, I, I am um, aware that you know everyone has a busy life, a busy day You're watching other content uh, creators and I'm, I'm happy for that and I certainly don't want to impose any more of your time than is necessary. But hopefully if you are somewhat new to Farm Sim 22, if you're new to auto drive or maybe you're still on the fence with Farm Sim 22 and all this, uh, hopefully this kind of gave you a glimpse into um, the current status of auto drive and I think that as it stands right now I'm not saying that auto drive is 100% ready for prime time um, but a function like this it's doing quite well 
and I'm quite pleased and it has been a huge help because uh, this would have been a pretty uh, difficult field to to harvest at least on the standards of how we have things with Elm Creek uh, the smaller fields the somewhat smaller equipment uh, etc and with rain looming on the horizon at any moment I really want to get this wheat in and uh, that way we can get on to other things that we need to do here on the farm like planting oilseed radish down in that field down there and I guess we're gonna to have to do it I guess I'm gonna have to do it manually because I can't seem to get uh, course play or the regular hired workers to do it so ladies and gentlemen thank you as always for watching uh, my videos I really do appreciate that we will be back with another video here on Elm Creek. I believe that our corn is very, very soon ready. Will we'll be very, uh, will be ready very soon. Is what I'm trying to say. Our corn will be ready very soon to chop for forage uh, for uh, 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 chaff and ultimately silage. And our grapes, I believe, also are within a little bit of time, you know, a few episodes from also being ready to harvest, and we get that process going. And then we need to make some decisions as to just how we're going to do things. We're gonna, once we harvest um, these fields over here that I'm kind of looking at, the soybean and the sunflower and that corn field, we're probably going to combine at least one or at least two of those fields, maybe three. We will kind of take it and see how things go. We're going to do that, and then we're going to look at um, uh, purchasing another field uh, down by the greenhouses that we will probably plant the same crop, whatever we're planting at the end of the greenhouse field there. We'll plant that same crop in the other adjacent field so that when we move our equipment over there to harvest that, we're just moving um, the same type of header and bringing the same uh, type of crop off the field so that we can um, make things a little bit more consistent. But anyway, thank you all again for watching. Very much appreciative. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, thinking where this video is going to fall, I believe you're watching this video on New Year's Eve. Um, if that is the case, then I wish you the very safest of New Year's Eve and a very very happy new year uh, let's all hope that 22 is not like 20 um the year 2020 uh, i've seen some uh, internet memes about the fact that um, the year 2022 is pronounced as 2022 as in uh, t-o-o but anyway thank you for watching i'm rambling and i will see you all right back here on elm creek very, very soon. Bye for now.